Remember when the film adaptation of Chicago came out and everyone was really, really, really excited to see it? Well, you can definitely relive that feeling this Christmas when Les Miserables opens in theaters. In Tom Hooper's Les Miserables, based on the musical, which was based on the 1862 book of the same name, we see the story of John Valjean, prisoner 24601, played by Hugh Jackman, as he is released on parole after 19 years of imprisonment. Upon his release, he chooses to change his life and he chooses to change his life after a bishop inspires him to. All of this is happening as he is running from Inspector Javert, played by Russell Crowe. Cut to a few years later, and Valjean is now Monsieur Madeleine, who is a wealthy factory owner and mayor. Fantine, played by Anne Hathaway, is fired from the factory after being discovered to have an illegitimate child who lives with another family and is forced to become a prostitute. On Fantine's deathbed, Valjean promises, promises to take care of her daughter, Cosette played by Amanda Seyfried. Now, if you haven't seen the musical, I won't spoil it, but the film picks up a few more years later on the eve of France's June Rebellion. Then, Valjean is forced with the choice to fight to save a man who has fallen in love with Cosette. That's all I'm going to say. You gotta have something to look forward to, right? Ultimately, to describe this film, I can use one word, visceral. I will give you this warning, bring tissues. While watching the film, I could hear some people sobbing. Not at how bad it was, because it wasn't at all. But at the pure emotion every actor gave into his or her roles. Come award season, this movie will definitely be at the front of the pack and very well could walk away with some wins. I must say this movie is definitely worth the price of admission. But remember, bring your tissues. So. Oh my, yeah, this movie, it was amazing. You're, you're so right. Like, I hope, I hope it gets nominated like crazy. Like, sometimes I think it wouldn't because it's like of all the commercial appeal that it's had. Yeah. But everyone did such an amazing job. And even like some of the smaller parts, even so like the, um, the guy who was uh, Marius' friend, he even did like a phenomenal yeah, job yeah. just at that part. It was, it was so awesome. Yeah, and um, one, one thing that I really noticed is um, how, um, how visceral the whole movie seemed, especially yeah. when they were singing, even mm -hmm. though they sang through the whole movie. Yeah. But um, when, when they each sang on their own, and um, I remember I stayed for the Q&A after mm -hmm. the movie, and, um, and Samantha Barks had said that they had went through each, each song when they sang one full take. They just yeah. did it back to back to back. And yeah. they would have like a little earpiece in their ears. And that, that's all they were here, because they'd be singing out loud in this huge yeah. set. That was the other really cool thing, I thought, is that Tom Hooper uh, had them all sing it live while he was shooting it and they didn't choose the like lip syncing or anything, which yeah. is like a great choice and like really adds the emotion because you sing it differently yeah. if you're in the moment acting it than you do if you're like in a recording studio, you just walked in with like your Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> but, and then also about people sobbing. Oh my gosh, a woman next yeah. to me, in, in the guy with her arm, just like, ah, ah, I, like I, going I had the same crazy. situation. There was a man sitting next to me, like a full grown man just, sobbing yeah. his eyes out I was like and to a point okay. to a point I understood it yeah and I was like yeah that's it's a really emotional movie I welled up at certain parts but like you gotta take it down a notch yeah but yeah it was it was phenomenal yeah it's a very good movie what was your favorite film adaptation of a musical answer in the comments below and be sure to follow us on Facebook Twitter and Tumblr thanks for watching